Good morning, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people. Today is September 3rd, 2023, and we are moving on 21 days to the Day of Atonement. And I want to share this piece of information with you that I saw in my Facebook feed. A friend of mine, Leslie Wilson, has some amazing information here, and I am doing some investigating and there are some undeniable signs with this. So let's take a look at the asteroid storm. And I want to throw this out at you. This is Leslie Wilson. I want to throw this out at you. Remember the infamous calm before the storm? The storm asteroid, which has the number 12182, enters Virgo the day after the Day of Atonement. Exactly... 2,182 days after you were warned, a storm is coming. So we have the asteroid storm, which is number 12182. And it enters Virgo the day after the Day of Atonement, which is exactly 2182 days after we were warned that a storm is coming. But there is more, so much more information with this. And we have to take a look at this because this lines up. The storm asteroid lines up with the sun exactly on May 14th, 2018, the day that the Jerusalem embassy was inaugurated on the 70th anniversary of Israel. There's no doubt there's information here we need to consider. So let's take a look at the asteroid storm connected to Donald Trump's a storm is coming. A storm is coming. Okay, the first thing I want everybody to see is that this statement was on October 5th, 2017. Trump warns a storm is coming. October 5th, 2017. You guys know what this represents? Tell us, sir. Uh, maybe it's the calm before the storm. Like the storm could be um, the calm before the storm. We have the world's great military people in this room. I will tell you that. And uh, we're going to have a great evening. Thank you all for coming. What storm is the You'll find out. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Okay, so before we look up this asteroid in Stellarium, um, I wanted to look up the information on uh, the history of this asteroid storm 12182. It was found in 1973. October 27th, 1973. We are coming up on the 50th anniversary of this asteroid. And I wonder what day. Okay, it was found on October 27th. Let's look that up in the Hebrew uh, calendar and see what day that was. October 27th. 1973. First of Cheshvan. But if we go to the Yom Kippur War timeline from October of 1973, the war began on Yom Kippur on October 6th. And October 28th, 1973, there was a successful ceasefire and this was the end of the Yom Kippur War. The very end of the Yom Kippur War lines up within 24 hours of the discovery of asteroid storm 12182. October 28, 1973, successful ceasefire manages to end the Yom Kippur War while asteroid storm... was found on October 27th, 1973. 
I mean, this was the exact end of the Yom Kippur War. And now we're coming up on 50 years from this date. And we're going to see where, where we have it exactly on the Day of Atonement in 2023. Okay. So we're going on 50 years with this. That's very interesting. Uh, and it's very interesting that it also has an arc span of almost 50 years exactly. 49.69 years. So it's got a... Uh, it was first observed in 1973. 50 years ago, it has an arc span of 50 years. Okay, is this a sign for uh, the Jubilee 50 years after 1973? Okay, let's take a look at this in the uh, in Stellarium. Okay, so we, here we have the storm asteroid 12182. On October 5th, 2017, this is this is the day that Trump uh, said a storm is coming. Now, maybe we should go back to where it was discovered. Okay, this is storm 12182. This is where it was discovered on October 27th, 1973. It was in the constellation of Pisces in close conjunction to Mars. October 27th, 1973. Okay. Now we're going to go to 2017 to October 5th. This is where Trump said, this is where the, the asteroid was when Trump said, this is the calm before the storm. Okay. Now, I followed this out by days. Let's just, let's just walk through this now. Just follow the red red the red dot just follow this on your screen and we're going to go to may 14th of 2018 okay a storm is coming a storm is coming a storm is coming okay Storm is coming. March 30 and 31st, conjunction with Venus. I, I investigated that. I didn't see anything. If you see anything there, let me know. March 30th of 2018. But this really caught my attention here. Perfect conjunction with the sun on the exact day. Okay. I mean, one day right here. is the conjunction with the sun. This is exactly on Israel's 70th anniversary, May 14th, 2018. A storm is coming in Taurus. A storm is coming, okay? May 14th, 2018, President Donald Trump keeps his promise to open U.S. Embassy in Jerusalem, Israel. What happened on the very next day, on May 15th, 2018? A storm is coming. May 15th, 2018, the day after Israel's 70th anniversary. Clade X pandemic exercise highlights policies needed to prevent or reduce the worst possible outcomes in future pandemics. They began planning the next pandemic exactly on Israel's 70th anniversary. A storm is coming.
Let's continue on, see what we see next here. A storm is coming. A storm is coming. A storm is coming. We're going to go up to October 18th, 2019 and see where it was. When they did the the uh, event 201, let's go up to October 18th, 2019, and see where it was when they did event 201. A storm is coming. Here comes Mars. Here comes the sun. Look at oh, 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 oh. look at all of this action right here on the storm. Look at all of this action coming up right now on the storm. Storm is coming, and they're getting ready to plan event 201. Okay, hold on. Let's see where this goes here. There we go. There we go. Look at all. Look at just what happened, okay? If we go back, and we're going to see everything that just happened. Right in Virgo. Right in Virgo. Here it is. Coming right up into Virgo. This is 2019. Venus, Mercury, the sun went right past storm and now exactly on October 18th. Look at this. Okay. October 18th, 2019. In conjunction with Mars, event 201, October 18th, 2019. This training tabletop exercise is based on a fictional scenario. The inputs experts used for modeling the potential imp impact were fictional. It is a teaching and training resource for public health and government officials. The Johns Hopkins Center for Health Security in partnership with the World Economic Forum and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation hosted Event 201, a high-level pandemic exercise on October 18, 2019 in New York, New York. The exercise illustrated areas where public-private partnerships will be necessary during the response to a severe pandemic in order to diminish large-scale economic and social consequences. A storm is coming October 18th, 2019. If we look this up on the Hebrew calendar, October 18th, 2019. 19th of Tishri, just going into where we're in the middle of uh, the Feast of Tabernacles, October 18th, 2019, fourth or fifth day of Tabernacles, when they did event 201, a storm is coming, comet storm or asteroid st storm. In Virgo, conjuncted with Mars, exactly on the day of event 201. Let's continue and see what we see next. Let's go now to the beginning of the pandemic in March. Storm is coming. A storm is coming. A storm is coming. This is the day of the pandemic, 311. 311, but look, two days later, 313, in the scales of Libra, storm. Asteroid 12182, conjuncted with the moon on March 13th, 2020, Donald Trump, the same one who said, this is the calm before the storm. He declared a national emergency in the United States on March 13th. 
So the pandemic began here on March 11th, and two days later, exactly with it with this statement of Donald Trump, a national pandemic was declared on March 13th, 2020. The comet storm or the asteroid storm in Libra conjoined with the moon on the day of the pandemic. Let's continue on and go to the beginning of the jabs. Let's go back to the beginning of the jabs or forward to the beginning of the jabs. Going back into uh, the scales, very interesting. Was in the scales at the beginning of the pandemic, went out of the scales, back through the scales again. And now we're coming up to December. Wow. This was the This was the the first day of the of the jabs in the United States. December 14th, this was a total solar eclipse over South America, December 14th. And this was also the day that Joe Biden was confirmed through the Electoral College as president, December 14th, 2020. Here's Comet Storm in the picture of the eclipse that happened over South America the first day. And don't forget, this was the exact middle day between the two great American eclipses. From 2017 to 2024, the exact middle day was December 14th, 2020. Here is the asteroid storm in the region of the total solar eclipse that marked the midpoint, the X marks the spot, in between the two great American eclipses and also marked the first jab, December 14th, 2020. And see what we see next. A storm is coming. A storm is coming. A storm is coming. I am walking through this for the first time with you here. I have not seen this activity, so I, I wanted to just go day by day. It's going to take a while to get to where we are now, but I want to see uh, what happens if we can link it to anything else or anything specific on the way from the beginning of the pandemic, from the beginning of the jabs. This was the beginning of the war in Ukraine. I don't see anything specific. Continuing on through March of 2022, a storm is coming. A storm is coming. July 4th and 5th of 2022, 
conjoined with the sun, a storm is coming. Continuing on. Okay, now we're coming into just the beginning of 2023. It's looking to go back retrograde from our perspective, going back into Leo. And then in April, turning around again and coming back towards Virgo. Now we are in July. August, okay, let's come to where we are right now. Okay, here's the parade of planets coming again. Mars and Mercury, the sun. This is where we are right now, September 3rd of 2023, okay? September 3rd of 2023, okay? Add this to everything else that is seen in the constellation of Virgo in the month of September. The storm is coming. Okay, let's watch this as we lead up to the Feast of Trumpets and the Day of Atonement. Okay. On the Feast of Trumpets, conjoined with the moon and Mars, exactly in Virgo on the Feast of Trumpets. September 16th, the storm is coming. The storm is coming. Unbelievable information. Now let us go to the day. This is the day of trumpets. The new moon is just being spotted here on the 16th. Okay, it's not going to be spotted on the 15th. If we go here to the 15th, it's not going to be spotted on the 15th. There's no moon sliver spotted on the 15th. Okay. We got to go to the 16th and we'll get this confirmed once we get there. The new moon is going to be spotted on September 16th in Israel. That is going to be the first day of trumpets. So let's go forward now to the Day of Atonement. From the 16th, go forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The Day of Atonement. The storm is coming, and it's going right into Virgo, crossing the line between Spica and and this other star over here, this is an imaginary line representing the womb of Virgo. This is an imaginary line. This does not appear in the constellation itself. But if you put a line between these two main stars in Virgo, this is the line here on September 26th. Okay. The storm asteroid is 12182. If we go from the day of Donald Trump's announcement, if we go from the day of Donald Trump's announcement that this is the calm before the storm, October 5th, 2017, to September 26th, 2023, it's exactly 2,182 days, just as it is in the storm. Storm is coming 2,182 days after the statement of Donald Trump. October 5th, 2017, a storm is coming, the calm before the storm. Asteroid 12182. Storm, asteroid storm, 12182. Exactly 2,182 days after Donald Trump's statement is September 26, 2023. And on the Torah calendar, when we calculate correctly 
the first day of trumpets on September 16th, September 26th is Yom Kippur Day of Atonement, September 26th. A storm is coming. So I want to thank Leslie Wilson for this information. There's probably much more to find here. But I wanted to share all of this uh, with you. And you can add this to everything else that is being shared about the Revelation 12 sign and the storm that is coming leading us to exactly the Day of Atonement, the comet storm, the asteroid storm from the statement of Donald Trump leads us exactly by number of days, 2182 days, to the Day of Atonement, September 26th, 2023. And if we go to the Strong's Greek Concordance 2182, inventor or discoverer or contriver, and it's used only once in Romans 130, inventors of evil things. It's the calm before the storm. What storm, Mr. President? What storm, Mr. President? Oh, you'll find out. You'll find out. 2182, inventor of evil things. So in summary, asteroid 12182 storm was discovered on 1027 1973 exactly on the last day of the Yom Kippur War of 1973, 50 years ago. It also has an arc of 49.69 years, which rounded up is also 50 years. Donald Trump said a storm is coming, calm before the storm, on October 5th, 2017. Asteroid storm was in the goat portion of Capricorn on this date. Asteroid 12182 storm conjoined with the sun in Taurus on May 14th and 15th of 2018, which was Israel's 70th anniversary, the embassy inauguration, and the Clade X exercise. Asteroid 12182 storm was conjoined with Mars in Virgo on the day of event 201 pandemic exercise of 1018 2019. Asteroid 12182 storm was conjoined with the Moon and Mars in Libra at the beginning of the pandemic between March 11th and 13th of 2020. Asteroid 12182 storm was in the same region as the total solar eclipse, the midpoint of the two great American solar eclipses on 12-14-2020, which also marked the day of the first jabs in the USA and the day of the Joe Biden confirmation via the Electoral College. Asteroid 12182 storm will be conjoined with the Moon and Mars exactly on the Feast of Trumpets on September 16, 2023 from the Strong's Greek Concordance number 2182 means inventor, discoverer, contriver. It is used only one time in Romans 130 where it is said, inventor of evil things. Just as Donald Trump stated, this is the calm before the storm. You will find out what storm is coming. Inventor of evil things. And last but not least, asteroid 12182 storm enters Virgo exactly on the Day of Atonement, September 26th, 2023, which is also 2182 days after the Trump statement. 2182 days for storm 12182. And remember, this asteroid was discovered exactly on the last day of the Yom Kippur War from 1973. 50 years to the day from the end of the Yom Kippur War to entering 
Virgo on the Day of Atonement, September 26, 2023. Are you ready for the return of Jesus Christ? I pray you are blessed. This is Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people. The sign of his coming revealed.